Okay. Hello, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been about, um, I think, it's, by the time I upload this video, it's been about 50 days? Almost 50 days since we last uploaded the video. 40 days in the desert. Yeah, it's been a long <laughs> time. It's been a long time. We had some technical difficulties. No. <laughs> <laughs> we had a child. And, and we had some technical difficulties. Yeah, okay. So last week we recorded a video. Two. Two videos. And Blood, all the sweat while and tears. that we recorded and finished, Kwame didn't check one microphone. Mm, yes, he wanted to so, shut me up. And it worked. Because she couldn't <laughs> hear me in the videos. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we're back again Yes. to record. So this time it's recording, so we're good. Who are you? So my name is Kwame, and um, this is Me Plus You is... Us, and my name is Elaine. All right, so in today's video, as you can see from the caption... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about things that surprised us. Having a... Child. A little nugget. Yeah, yes. but what we're going to do is... Elaine has put down things that surprised her, and I'm going to react to them. Yes. That's basically what's going to happen. So See if he's on the same page. <laughs> yes, whether we're on the same page with surprise or not. Okay. So let's get it. Let's so get I wrote them down. I did my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one. Okay. Um, the first one. Okay. All love songs have oh. a new meaning. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, 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 definitely. All love songs have a new meaning. Yeah. When, yeah. You, when you listen now, of course, yeah, you don't feel it on the romantic level anymore. No, it's like... It's, it's deeper. Yes. Yeah. All and love yeah, songs have a... When you si so when you sing them to him, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yes. Yeah, so the love, the love has gone beyond the, um, all the mushy... Uh, man, woman, or boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife yeah. level to a, a much deeper, um, I don't know how to explain it. That's just expanded, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it feels pure, selfless, like you don't even think about it, you just feel, mm -hmm. I, I just, yeah, 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 I, and our song is, um, what? Our favorite song, mm -hmm. our favorite family song at the moment. Now I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hello Black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our, our favorite um, song now. <laughs> but are you going to explain why or you just want to say? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't know I was supposed to explain. But the reason why it's our favorite song is um, we made a playlist. Um, I don't know if I should even share the link to the playlist. No. Okay, good. We made a playlist. <laughs> Make your for... own playlist. <laughs> <laughs> We made a playlist for uh, labor, for um, the room we're going to be in, and we named it Eli's Room. And before he, we got... Unfortunately, the playlist was too short. <laughs> yeah, because we Took had... Took three uh, days. <laughs> yeah, some complications with the birth, so the playlist was too short. But uh, anyway, before we got into labor, we would listen to the songs to also get used to it because yeah. it's, it's good for um, you to know the songs beforehand to, for it to calm you down when things get like really uh, rough and one of the songs that hit home for us was uh, now i do mm -hmm. hello black and yeah they can listen if they want to yeah but so also you, other songs like classics like uh you are so beautiful yeah to me <laughs> to <yeah>. me <laughs> <laughs> all of them the, the, yes. uh, the meanings change yeah so yeah, that's how come we got that song, and um, yeah, it's yeah. become our, okay. our, our thing. Uh, I have a whole list, but I'll just hop on, hop off. Um, the the second one for me is a big one. You don't need as much sleep as you thought you needed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think that's a surprise for me um, because I still I still can't function <laughs> without the sleep, and I kind of expected it that it would be terrible i just didn't think it would be that bad yeah I, I anticipated that the sleep would not be there but i didn't think it would be this like whoa 
I think for us, it's also we really like to sleep. Yeah. We are not night owls or anything like no. that. So I think that's why it was quite an adjustment. Yeah. Because now, so for me, what surprised me is that I really have a rhythm according to the time of the day. So in the morning, I do certain things to wake up, like start my day how I want to start my day. Yeah. Afternoon, you get very productive. Then evening, you wind down. But now, because you're like 24-7 on the clock, yeah. it's it messed with my head a bit. And I was like, whoa. I didn't even know I was so much like attuning to the time of the day and like my energy levels were attuned to kind of the rhythm of the day. And now your rhythm is like all mangled up. It's a whole cycle. Yeah. Um, well, but it's not necessarily mangled up, mangled up, but it's been chopped into very little pieces. Yeah. Like you're doing a, like a kilometer or a mile at a time. Yeah. And it's like every kilometer is the same, but different. Yeah. You know, but also I do think that now I'm getting used to less sleep. You are. Yes, I still need like the naps. Yeah. So sometimes I nap in the afternoon and I wake up and I feel like my second morning has started. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so fresh. I'm like, yeah, ah, it's a beautiful day, and it's still the same day. And I'm like, oh my god, what's happening to me? Yeah. But I think I'm adjusting. And the funny thing is that even no matter how rough the night was, so if he was up a lot, like one half hours, two hours, like you missed out on that chunk of sleep. If the baby smiles in the morning. And the way he looks like, at you, yeah, like yeah. the way he plays with, like you know, playing by himself and smiling at you when you make a noise or something, and then yeah, you forget everything. You forget everything. Yeah. It's, a it's a trap. Don't don't you buy it. Don't fall everything. in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I you you tap into your creativity in ways you've never done before, and you do that sense. with your record that with the lullabies. Oh, and yeah, dancing and even tapping into your own childhood memories. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect that. Yeah, that 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 too. I didn't expect. Yeah, that I didn't expect. Not that too. That I didn't expect. Yeah, because I, I don't know how instinctively all these things come to you, and you remember the things that were sang to you as a child or yeah, a baby. Let's just say a toddler, as far as you can remember. Then you remember all these things all of a sudden and making up lullabies on the go. Oof. <laughs> you, you just find all kind of creative ways to comfort. Yeah, that, that's the word. The, the comfort makes you yeah, very creative. And I think for us, it's a lot of singing. And dancing. Dancing, moving, motion, rocking, a lot of motion. You know. But it's also funny to see the other person in that. Because normally, I mean, when you go about your day, I mean, we, you do have times you kind of play, like when yeah. you're playful. Yeah. But now you really have to, you really see it. In tune, you have to, in, like, it's, it's very other. glaring. That you, like, you do it. It's, it's a conscious effort to do because, yeah. yeah. But if before the baby was there, if you would do something like that, then it would be weird. But now it's literally now, like... Now you have to. Yeah, yeah. It, it's part of... It's, 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 it's not even thought of, you know. It's now become part of... Yeah, what you do. What you do and who, who, who you are, basically. Yeah. A and I try to... One of the nerdy things I do is I try to record <laughs> my favorite fake... Not fake lullabies. Lullabies I make up on the spot. Yeah. Improvised yeah. lullabies. Yes. I, I record them. There's one that's very sticky. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you want. <laughs> I know what you need. I know that you're tired and you just want to sleep. So I'm going to walk around <laughs> and rock you, rock you down. I think somebody should record this one. Yeah. It's a good one. So, yeah, I made up uh, on the spot. And, and it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But when it sounds like it has a rhythm, I try to record it on my phone so I can remember. Yeah. That's nice. Um, your survival mode will kick in. Uh, what the baby needs is very primal. So you'll learn a lot about your instincts. And I think this one has a big one. As So for us being quite analytical people, yeah. what the baby, the baby doesn't care really about your personality <laughs> or about your ways of doing things or why doesn't you do know, things. Doesn't know, doesn't care doesn't know doesn't care it like it's very yeah. primal like 
food, sleep, comfort, change yeah. of diaper, um, bath. That's literally it. Yeah. So as us being very and analytical, of course play. yeah, play like stimulation. Yeah. I thought that was more like comfort. So that's like okay. Um, <laughs> Before the Marcus has bad Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Marked. Okay. Um, so for, for, at least for me, if I have to speak for myself, you cannot say, okay, I will get back to you in a day. <laughs> like normally I think through things quite long. And now you just have to like On act yeah. and trust your gut and just think, okay, this is what I think it is. Sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes you're right. So... It's a whole new thing to rely so much on your instincts yeah. instead of your rationale. And I also, or we discovered, for me, it was really tough because I wanted to understand everything the baby is doing. In the like, beginning. why is it crying? Why is it doing this? Why In the is beginning, doing that? Yeah, it was tough. Why is it not latching? Why is he doing this? Um, why is he back after 30 minutes? Why, we why is he hungry again? It's yeah, not even three hours later. When we went through cluster feeding, it was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, so I think you cannot understand everything. It's more like a, hmm, what you say, emotional, but not really. It's a feel thing. It's a reactive thing. Yeah, it's you feel it, you do it. You, there's no, there's no need to try and. Uh, that's what you said, primal. There's no need to try and understand it. It's, it's, it's. It's like this is what it needs. And that's Thoughts. it. Like no argument, nothing. And yeah, yeah, that's really something I have to get used to. Now I think I'm getting there. Yeah. But I didn't know it would be this. You're almost an animal. You're yeah, so reactive. Uh, yeah, and very it's biological not, process. In yeah, a way. and it's not like you are nonchalant about you know um, certain things like you know being analytical or giving uh, finding meaning to those emotions or whatever that you're feeling. It's not that, but you cannot act upon that. Yes, you can't act upon that. You just have to feed him dot. Like yes. there's no. <laughs> we can talk about the feelings later. later yeah. <laughs> And, There's and no space. It's not easy for um, people who want to, you know, process their thoughts and emotions like we do before we speak about it. And yeah. now we just have to shelve it. And I, I, I don't struggle as much with shelving. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, just I love the shelf things. <laughs> Forget <laughs> about them. <laughs> I just have to do, and I do, and yeah. that's it. No, it's true. Um, yeah, I thought I knew it, but it's different when you experience it. So you are starting from scratch again, like doing all the things you were, you were doing without any thoughts, like going out, doing groceries, like yeah. the very basic stuff yeah. to live your life. Like you have to feed yourself, going to work. Yeah. We have to get fuel. We have to do this. We have to do that. You are now doing it, but then with another human being yeah. and you have to really start from scratch again like, like whatever you you thought you knew it just doesn't exist now everything has to include how the baby is part of it so it's like a fresh yeah place. you have to kind of start anew otherwise it can get very frustrating yeah because then you're like oh but normally i would go out there's no normally on now. the wing the no there's no is normal now with him yeah even so Kwame likes to go for Fufu on Sunday, normally I, I would join. But now, at least at this stage, because the music is very loud, the Fufu joins. <laughs> we cannot bring the baby, or we can, but then he has to wear his headphones. See, there you go. See, <laughs> you have to like think through it. You can yeah. bring him, and then you have to bring the headphones. What if he cries? What if this? Da, 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 da. So now we have him. decided that Kwame will go for Fufu. If I feel like eating something from there, you will bring it, it to me. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'll stay with the baby. So you really have to think through like all your scenarios and okay, what if this? What if that? It's like whoa, 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 whoa! It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, yeah, this one maybe relates to that. So it's really important to step out, and it's very hard, yeah. practically and mentally too. Step out of the house without your baby. Yeah. I mean, leave your baby with somebody. That's not what we don't mean leave your baby alone. Yeah. But it's really important to uh, zoom in and zoom out of the situation. Because if you're only focusing on the baby, your world gets really small and you get very tense about things. Mm -hmm. Because then the baby is the only thing there. Mm -hmm. 
So I think it's important to... And he also get prickly. <laughs> Me or people in general? <laughs> no, generally, like you become very... Um, you become so uh, focused on details. Yeah. Because that's your whole world. And I think, of course, like... You want to pour everything into parenthood, but a parent is not the only thing you are. Yeah. And I think for us to survive it is in a way. We're trying to make a conscious yeah. effort to do the little things that we like to do. Yeah, or even that you can just go to your office and work for an hour or two. Yeah. No disruption. Um it's just it's good to tap into other things as well. Yeah. I think that works for us. Otherwise, I don't think it's good for the baby either. And the surprise here is when the baby was in there, you, you, you took such things for granted, like in the previous um, um, observation that we said that normal, mm -hmm. you took those things for granted and now it's not normal anymore. So you now have to make a conscious effort. And we didn't think that that's how it's going to feel, that the effort has to be that deliberate yeah. in order to be able to step out of the bubble in and out, you know, over time. Yeah, and I think also that suddenly everything is collective. So that surprised me as well, because, for example, if Gramet doesn't sleep enough, then I have to step up or he has a like he can't get an enough sleep in or he has to finish something so he doesn't sleep. It means he probably will be less like alert or less energy that day. So that means I have to step up yeah. automatically. The same with suddenly me time or self-care eats into your time. So my self-care eats into your yeah. time. Yeah. While normally we would just go like... Separate ways and just do our own things and come back and meet. Uh, yeah, I could go for coffee with my friends and then grandma would do something else. Yeah. But now if I go for coffee with my friends, I want to go without the baby. It eats into grandma's time because that means she has to watch him. Yeah. So that's something new as well. Um, so that relates to the one of the, um, you're on borrowed time and it can be quite frustrating. Yeah, you're literally on borrowed time. And, and sometimes I, what, what, um, another thing that I think about a lot is like, for how long, man, it's, it's been a long time. When is it going to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, like it change, 80 yeah? years of your life from now on. <laughs> <laughs> when is it going to change? Yeah. No, I think, hmm, I think for, for me, the borrowed time thing is uh, frustrating and I have to acknowledge that because you're always on demand. Yeah. I'm not used to that. Like, yeah. because uh, I went to the office on Friday for the first time. I'm resuming work. Uh, and honestly, it was nice because I have better boundaries at work than in the house. <laughs> Yeah. Because at work, I know, like, okay, this is what I'm going to do now. Then I'm going to do this, da, 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 this, then call. Da, 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 da. So you really like make a plan and then follow that plan because it's just you, right? Yeah. Or at least you work with colleagues and everything. But but here, I'm in halfway my exercises. And then, and then Eli starts crying. I'm like, no, exercises for me. <laughs> Last time, I had to cut my exercise, 15 minutes of exercise on YouTube. I had to cut it in six. <laughs> I started at 5 30, I was done by 7. <laughs> yeah. Because in the meantime, you had to like take care and then go back and do something and go back. Yeah, and I think it's okay to still want to do things for yourself. It's just you have to make that adjustment like, okay, I can start this. <laughs> but it's more like, let's see how far it we goes. can come. Yeah. And that's makes it's kind of a humbling experience. It is. To let go more and be more like, okay, this is what we now need. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, this one is also nice. So people talk about this, like, oh, when you get a baby, you will like, it will unlock like a whole new level of love. It's true because you've never experienced a bond with a creature like this before. Yeah. I mean, I never carried a baby before. You never ha became a father before. But for me, what is surprising is that it's not only with us, <laughs> like the people around us, yeah. that you see change in front of your eyes because of the baby yeah. and the joy he brings and kind of the hope and the, yeah, it's just... He just uh, he's like a glued 
that brings like it changes the your social circle like everybody yes and it also brings out another side of people yeah which i think was is so interesting because um Kwame's brother for example we he comes by from time to time but i never had seen him with a little um, child child and he's so good with them yeah <laughs> And I was like, oh, like I literally texted him like, wow, it was so cool to see you with, the, with we had a small uh, gathering here and there were some kids and he was really good with them. And I was like, that's so nice. Yeah. And, and the gifts and how thoughtful the gift was and everything. It's yeah, just, it's really nice. And also friends that are, that are very confident with the baby, like they pick them up and they, they know exactly that they have to walk around with the baby yeah. and move it. And you're like, oh, wow, like I never knew you knew how to, to handle that, a yeah. baby. Um, so it also brings out other stories and you see people light up and apply things they liked when they were little and yeah it's really nice yeah i didn't why are you laughing <laughs> no it's just apart from the light up how they also get like really um uh nervous about when he's fussy or crying yeah yeah, yeah also just, how they handle him, like very precious. Yeah, as much as that's crying, it's like, ooh, what am I, like, you know, I need to fix it. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if everybody goes to fixing mode. Yeah. But it's just nice to see the change around you and see that people really, like, they they love him for who he is, even though he's like just this tiny human, human being. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, so the thing that surprised me most of the times, you'll be overwhelmed. <laughs> Like 99% of the times. <laughs> I think that's not uh, for me. If if we're if I'm being objective, then that's not a surprise. Because yeah, that's that's literally it. But I think okay. So rationally, oh, you underestimated I, it. Uh, rationally, I knew. Yeah. Bringing a newborn in will be a lot. Yeah. But, but you, you cannot that under amount. understand in what ways. Yeah. Because you're literally because it's so primal. You're on a coping strategy. So it brings out certain parts of you that you normally don't use in like your day to day as an adult. Yeah. Uh, you have the partnership going on as well. You have other people in the mix. You have like even basic things like cooking. In the beginning, in the first weeks, we, we didn't know how when to cook. Nope. Because we couldn't find the time. Yeah, we couldn't even rhythm. think of what to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and if I if you I would have told myself that before I would have just thought why yeah, it's not possible we're gonna make it we're gonna be fine no uh, no no you when, just think when it was from, happening oof. you just think from hour to hour yeah and I think people should really tell you like dude you'll be overwhelmed the first six months and then after that you're getting it's literally uh one hour or one schedule at a time I think it's okay to be overwhelmed because you've also never been like this dedicated to something. Yes. You're literally his everything. Yeah. You're a source of feed, a source of joy, a source of sleep and comfort. Like you're doing everything. Yeah. And we've never done that before. So that commitment, that dedication, it requires a lot. Yeah. Um, yes. Even your sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then, I mean, I already talked about partnership, but I think you will become, I mean... Hmm, you form a stronger partnership? I guess so, but in the beginning, because everything is new, it feels in the beginning a bit distant. Like we're both juggling a lot. So you're both thrown into like a new experience and you no longer see your partner. Yeah, and also, yeah. I, you don't see your partner the same way. Like they are completely different because the way they're going about um, taking in this new experience is different from yours, and you feel like there's a disconnect. Yeah, and also because it's so like hands on all the time. Yeah. Um, and we normally take some time to connect and like, you know, ground a bit. But there's no grounding now. No. Not really. Everything's elevated all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is on the spot now. All the time. Yeah, yeah. So you have to really cherish the small moments together. Like being able to record this video. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm sure. We'll, I'm sure. We'll, once we get along, like get further in the process, you'll find each other more and like the new role. But in the yeah. beginning, it's it's a lot, and I'm happy we have a good foundation. 
Yeah. Because if not, your communication needs to be on point. Otherwise, you get a lot of miscommunication. And that doesn't help anybody. And even before the baby came, one of the things that our friends told us that we thought was really, really cool was the fact that uh, in the first few weeks, everything that happens from midnight to 6 a.m. didn't happen. That's how they got through communicating properly so that they don't, like, they're not at each other's throats all the time. Mm. They, they I were, think we're doing okay in the night, or no, I'm just saying that's one of the things that yeah. s- stuck to me in, in that uh, learning from people who already had a child was that, yeah, you, you have to be kind to each other and some of the things you just have to, you know, forget about it and move on. Yeah, you also cannot discuss everything because there's just no time. Time to do it, yeah. So, yeah, you have to find a new way. Um, yeah. I think that also relates to the last one I have here. Uh, you will miss parts of your old life, and that's okay. Yeah. What do you miss? Freedom. <laughs> what do you mean with freedom? Because that's a concept, big concept. It's a big concept, but I'm just saying that um, the fact that uh, my thoughts of me doing uh, or wanting to do the things I want to do, how I do it, Mm-hmm. And how I add my family and friends or you into that plan, and the fact that because it's adults involved, <laughs> like you can communicate what you're thinking yeah. or what you want to do and how you can, like you know, add them to it, and there's, there could be understanding. Mm-hmm. But at this point, there's nothing like that. No. There's somebody who can't speak can't walk, can't eat on their own, can't <laughs> bath on their own. Yeah, you have to provide Who dictates the... what you do. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say. I think also we're very autonomous people. Yeah. We're not used to... Having a boss who doesn't... In the... Yes, talk. we're very independent <laughs> kind of... Yeah. I think for me, the best example is... So when I was pregnant, we did a lot together almost everything, like errands, shopping, like groceries. Um, if I had to go somewhere, grandma would drop me off a lot, all these things. Now, <laughs> we can't even do that. No. Because that means we have to pack him in the car and all these things. So I miss that a little bit, the errands. Because that would always be a time where... You miss the just the two of us bit. Not to just, but just also just like, okay, you see a cry, you talk about the things you see. I don't know. If there's something about sitting in a car, like not facing each other, but facing the road and just... Having a conversation. Yes. And, and, and not worrying about the guy in the back. Well, I don't mind worrying about the guy in the back, but it's less, um, okay, let's go. Like now you really have to plan. The same thing I said, like you have to try everything yeah. new. And now when we do, now we do a lot of errands separately. Yep. One person has to take care of the child and uh, one person has to go get it. Yeah. And that's... So, hmm. I miss that. Yeah. That you would do... Just hop into the car and just go. Well, now I'm like, okay, uh, we want to go somewhere. What time? Uh, How many feet do I have to pack? Uh, When do I have to express? Okay, if I have to express during the day, what do I do? Yeah. And how long can you be gone for till the other person would... So then we're just like, oh, it's easier if I go alone. (laughs) Yeah. But then you miss out on the quality time as well. Yeah. So you have to. Well, we we try. Find a new way. We try at the moment to um, try and eat together at the table or in a living room, watch a movie at least w- once or twice during yeah. the week um, before we go to bed while he's maybe having his um, long nap before the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we try to do some things together at least. Yeah. Yeah, you console yourself with the little you can do together. Now it means a lot more. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we should add that. Yeah. Things, things you can get done mean a lot, a lot more. more. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you finish one yeah. activity and you're like, whoa, like, you know, give me a gold medal. Let the whole stadium give me a standing ovation <laughs> because, wow, you know. Yeah, and I guess something's got to give as well. I mean, you've added this whole human being through your life, so... Something like you cannot maintain everything like it was. Yeah. Then you shouldn't have taken a baby, I guess. Yeah. But you can't have it all. Can't. 
Oh ja, ist okay. Ist jetzt right off. Licht war mein Licht. Ja, yeah, and I do agree with yeah, your list. <laughs> do you have anything to add? Did I miss anything? No. Maybe for, maybe f on the gender side, if we talk about stereotypes, do you feel more pressure to provide? Because that's something in Ghana that is uh, mostly focused on the man of the household to provide. No, I don't. I don't feel in. more no? pressure to provide. Okay. I, I don't. I don't feel more pressure to provide on a day to day. It's the pressure of the future instead. No, the future is bigger now because there's another yeah. person in it. So it's not more. It's the, I don't worry so much about um, food or diapers or hospital bills or whatever now. Not so much, no. Mm -hmm. But it's more like what is going to happen, you know, for yeah. him. You know, what can I do to buffer up? Because the more he grows. Yeah, you know, for me, I think on the flip side, it's also motivating because I'm also like, Yes, yeah, so it's not pressure. You need it's to, motivation. You need it's to step pressure. it up. It's not only you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm just saying it's not pressure, pressure. But that's why I'm saying that it's not pressure because your day to day is much more on the uh, immediate spectrum mm -hmm. of your needs. For now, yeah. Yeah, which brings pressure. But the one I'm talking about is more like the actualization level, like the things you want to do. Not actualization, but like future. It's higher on the hierarchy of needs. Yeah. So I'm not looking for my basic needs. We have shelter, we have food, we have clothing. That's not. Yeah, I'm more like, oh, I really need to do that. Like things I would normally postpone, like, oh, I have to, you know, we need to eat better or like we need to cook more. Now I'm like, I need to, we need to, we need set recipes. We need so many recipes. <laughs> <laughs> He's also going to eat this. Like, <laughs> and like, okay, finance. We need our finances to have our ducks in a row. Like everything needs to be set. We need yeah. to have an emergency fund. We need to have a college fund. We need to have this. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's, not pressure. For me, it's not pressure. I think it's a it's bit of pressure. Like you need to step it up, man. Like no more sleeping, no more snoozing. Yeah. Because there's somebody else involved. So if you suck now, like it's that's, not only yeah. you <laughs> suffering. <laughs> yeah. If you snooze, you really lose. Yeah. Your child is going to confront you in like 12 in, in years. Like 12? Saying, like, <laughs> even less. No, I mean, at some point, like when they become more adults and they're going to reflect, yeah. they're going to say like, oh my God, this, you really didn't do well. well you yeah. sucked like yeah. at this. You, I, we could have had it way better and then you didn't do it. And you're like, yeah. ah, we tried. Yeah, so, <laughs> I guess. I guess that's also the last thing, like you really now empathize with other parents. Yeah. Even your own. But also when you see people in public with their kids, you're like, yeah. Go Good you. Good job. <laughs> you look yeah. at or I when I saw I went uh, for first time did it with friends out without the baby. Grandma was with the baby, and I saw a, a young mom with a very tiny baby, and she just started breastfeeding him in the restaurant. I mean, she covered her, herself up, but I was like, "You go, girl!" <laughs> like I wanted to go over there, like, "Yes, you do, you. You know, you're doing great, and you're bringing your newborn." And you, she looked fabulous, like all like. Mm -mm -mm. I was like, oh, "I have to go there. I want to ask how old he is and like say like, well, you're doing great, mommy. Go, go, go." Um, so it's funny that it you're now suddenly part of like this new group of people. Yeah, by default. Yeah, <laughs> your your demographic changes. Yeah, like suddenly you're a dad, suddenly you're a mom. And that was also funny because I went to uh, went to the mall because I wanted to buy a hat for Eli because the sun is always out here. <laughs> Mommy duties. But then I had quickly wanted to grab something at the supermarket and I was wearing the diaper bag, which is quite a big backpack. Uh, and then the security guard was, I went in and he was like, mommy, mommy, mommy. I was like, who is mommy? I was like, oh, mommy, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny too now because I was, I was carrying Eli, FYI. So he, I was mommy, but I, I didn't, didn't like, yet. That I haven't been that much outside yet yeah. with the baby on me. So I was like, oh, mommy, mommy's me. Yeah. So it's interesting. Okay. I think this was it. <laughs> 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 so yeah we'll catch you in the next video this is me plus you is us and uh yeah these are the things that we're still rocking with even though they surprised us yes let us know if you have any uh su any suggestions <laughs> any other things that surprised you i would be if you've had a child yes yeah or a nephew or uh, yeah if you have a baby around you and you were like whoa
Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.